I went from being healthy one day to almost dying the next morning. In like 12 hours, streptococcus pneumonia is what it was. And it left untreated, it would kill you. Most of your walking at this point occurs um, at therapy. And so Trucking company owner Paul Miller had it all, a successful business and a loving family. But on the day after Super Bowl Sunday, life took a drastic turn. Paul was struck with a devastating illness that ultimately cost him his hands and feet. I'm an independent person, always was. It just drives me insane to have to say, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I'll let you do that, actually, Shelley. Sure. The care is immense. It's 24-7, literally. You need lip balm, Shelly, get me lip balm. You need to brush your teeth, Shelly, brush my teeth. You need to go to the bathroom, Shelly, gotta go to the bathroom. You, you can't do anything by yourself. How has that been doing? Pretty good. good. While Paul struggles to come to grips with the immense changes in his life, he's thankful to be alive, as the disease is nearly always fatal. My dear wife, when the doctor came out, took her by the hand and said, I've never had a patient live. She said, we're just going to pray for a miracle. And we did. And here I am. I should not be here today. You can't sit around and, and pity yourself. There's no time for that. You know, we'll be married 35 years in December. Why would I not want to do this for him? The frustration level gets a little bit more every day. When you wake up, same old stuff. I just want to do something by myself. I founded Paul Water Truck in 78, and it was relatively successful due to good economy and, and God blessing me and trying to do everything right. Their driving is going to take a while, I'm not going to lie to you. The car driving will come quicker, but the truck driving, that may not happen. It's going to really break my heart if it don't. I don't think there's any word of retirement oh, well, I in know. his vocabulary. No, 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 no. Only 5% survived this disease, so I have a blessing from God, just a, a miracle. But I got grandbabies and stuff I want to see grow up. I'm happy that I survived. I've not had a down day where I wanted to slam my head against the wall or, you know, or, or just pity myself. It's been all good. I mean, it's challenging. You get, your legs finally came. Well, this is great. Now I can walk. Well, the next step, when we, when we get the financial things straight out, will be hands. Then you can see, wow, what can I do? Every week there's something better to do. It's been good days. I mean, yeah, we have some struggles, but it's been good days.